the distinguished pleasure of interviewing Professor Thomas W. Recur on his new book, The Work of the Dead. So, if you had to sum up the argument of your book uh, in a few sentences, if that, if that is even possible, what might you say? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a really long book. It's mm -hmm. about 300,000 words. So, um, in, a few, in a couple sentences, three or four sentences, the argument is, 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 is the following. There's, the first part is, is of a general anthropological argument. And I want to say um, that humans have always cared about the dead because, because care of the dead represents um, essentially an, uh, the moment in, in, in which, um, a moment in which we emerge from nature into culture. That is to say, the dead, human dead, are not just carrion like they are with animals, but they sort of matter. So there's this, anth there's this anthropological moment. And some of that think of the, of, of care of the dead in, in a way like the incest taboo. It's one of these sort of fun foundational moments in becoming human. So that's the general anthropological argument. And it's because it's so important anthropologically and has been so important over time, a great cultural weight is attached to what the people do with the dead. So therefore, in any given instance or, or historical period, changes in what we do with the dead represent important cultural changes. The dead do things for us. Summing it up, the work of the dead is to make human communities. I think you've previously noted in a speech at the Radcliffe Institute that um, the 17th century jurist um, Hugo Grotius right. said that um, a denial of burying the dead was a, a just cause of war. Mm -hmm. um, uh, obviously, uh, or maybe not so obviously, do you think that politicians today would disagree with that statement? When they dragged that body through the streets of Mogadishu, that had a political effect. I mean, in the Clinton, I mean that basically got us out of Mogad got us out of Somalia. That image. So, I mean, you're either going to go into a major war with these guys, or you're going to say, this is too horrible to deal with. Yeah, I think politicians would care a lot. You previously noted um, the leaving of cigarettes and beer at the Vietnam Memorial under the names of loved ones. Um, can you talk a little bit about how offerings to the dead and sort of the way we care for them has changed over the years? People leave grave goods all the time. You know, and the Vietnam Memorial is a good example of that, where, where we'll do this stuff without any reason, I mean, has any reason that's articulated in a religion or a philosophy in a kind of organized way. If you went to the Vietnam Memorial and you said to someone, you said, do you think that John is really going to get these cigarettes the way you said in the note? What would they say to you? They'd probably so. stumble. They'd say, yeah. well, I mean, I'm not sure, but I, buh, buh, buh. You know what I mean? <laughs> you sort of start waving your hands. Yeah. But you still act as if you're going to leave it for them. And, and when you go Berkeley, you see these little votive shrines. There's a shrine by a stop, stop sign where a kid got killed um, a couple of years ago. And people still leave toys and teddy bears and little things. And you say, well, what's that about? The kids, you think of it, teddy bear, the kids go play with the teddy bears and the toys. I mean, not really, but people do it. So, so I, I, I think in general that we, we act about the dead we um, do these things even though beliefs about them and official doctrines change. So I, what I actually think is that there's a lot of change in what we people purport to believe. But in fact, people do very much many of the same things. And I think that's because the larger picture of this would be some sense that, you know, I think religion of all sorts are kind of, official religions are kind of backfilling things that people already believe. I mean, they have all sorts of views and beliefs, and then we think of reasons for it. Um, and I think I said with the dead, I mean, I think people have this deep, have this feeling what they always have, and then you make a more and more elaborate stories about them. But in fact, we act, or many of us act in a way that we care about. Some of us actually don't care about them. True or false, your book would make good Halloween reading. Whew. One hopes. Can I say, um, True. <laughs> 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 <laughs>